Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Misbehavior, which will be available on uh, digital demand as of September 25th, 2020, uh, courtesy of Shout Studios. It is uh, technically the sophomore narrative of Philippa Lothorpe, who's uh, very, uh, very much a celebrated um, director of British television, having won two BAFTAs and the only uh, woman to win one of them in uh, one of her categories. Um, Keira Knightley stars as Sally Alexander, uh, who is a woman at the forefront of the women's liberation movement. It's set in 1970 and has to do all about the disruption of the Miss World pageant in London. Um, so there are a lot of uh, kind of a dizzying amount of perspectives and players that converge at this one event and what happened there uh, to the degree where it almost seems like this would have made a great uh, television miniseries with maybe an hour chapter for each of the uh, key players. Uh, Keira Knightley anyway plays uh, Sally who's trying to, a uh, single mother in her 30s, living with a man, not marrying again. Uh, she uh, has to go through a demeaning interview process to be invited uh, to a, a post at college, uh, at a university, and at a women's liberation meeting she meets Jesse Buckley who is kind of uh, standing in for uh, a number of militant voices uh, that are looking to further uh, their cause by greater sorts of disruption. And so those two minds coming together uh, c come up with disrupting the uh, upcoming pageant. At the same time, the Morleys, uh, Mr. Morley's played by Reese Siphons, uh, also is shown to be uh, acting in the misogynist tendencies that we expected and approved of how men would act. Uh, it, they're searching for a host, which they land on Bob Hope, another womanizer. Uh, he's played by Greg Kinnear, uh, and with a prosthetic nose. And it's not caricature, it's kind of interesting. He looks a little bit like Robert Wagner. Uh, but he's married to Leslie Manville, his long-suffering wife, who is very upset that he has taken the job to host uh, the Miss World pageant, because the last time he did so a decade ago, he brought the winner home with him and caused them a lot of problems. Um, there's those things going on. Uh, the Morleys are being pressured uh, by special interest groups to disqualify South Africa from entering due to racial and apartheid issues. They respond by saying, we'll allow two contestants from South Africa, a black and a white one, so there's that going on. Uh, and then meanwhile, there's the jury selection, which um, the film doesn't actually really get into, but uh, Miss Grenada wins, played by Gugu and Batha Ra, and there was some controversy over that, saying that it was a fixed uh, win. Uh, be that as it may, uh, Gugu and Batha Ra kind of brings uh, a lot of her portions of film to uh, vibrant life as well as Miss Grenada. Um, so if you're fans of any of these people, everybody uh, pretty much does a uh, good, great job. It was shot by Zach Nicholson, um, Tom Hooper's favorite uh, DP, who shot, of course, The King's Speech and Les Miserables. Um, the intersections of the white women that are trying to uh, disrupt this beauty pageant, uh, of course, are at odds with the black women that are allowed to participate and win for the first time to be kind of to ascend to a level of equality albeit on a demeaning platform towards women, uh, is, is very interesting and I, I think with, in a longer format could have been teased out a little better, but what the screenwriters do is very bluntly greet that uh, in conversations that I think have to be so obvious because there's just not that much time to m more subtly explore that. and. Besides that, I still think that it's a compelling and interesting um, recuperation of this particular time and place, uh, which, uh, at least in the UK, was started off the women's liberation movement. Uh, overall, I would give the film three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.